driver recovering tonight from his bed. The 42-year-old spoke for the first time since being stabbed several times while he was behind the wheel. And he wants New Jersey Transit to take extra precautions to keep drivers safe. Jen Maxfield is live in Irvington with the exclusive interview. Jen? Chetty, the driver picked up the suspect at about 8.30 on Saturday night here from the Irvington bus terminal. From his bedside today, Ihab Abunaja tells me that if he had been protected by a plexiglass partition like the kind that many taxi drivers use in their cars, he might have been spared the agony of being stabbed seven times. Ihab Abunaja yes, sobs as he looks at the bloody New Jersey Transit shirt he was wearing Saturday night when a crazed passenger stabbed him seven times. All I felt was like a stab, a, a sharp pain right on my neck. This, this was the first hit that he hit me. That stab wound just missed Abunaja's jugular vein. Abunaja had just opened the doors for passengers to get out on Hawthorne Avenue in Newark when police say 26-year-old Maurice Young came at him with a knife. The vicious attack was completely unprovoked. I said to him, what are you doing? What are you doing? I'm screaming out loud. I have three kids. I have three kids. What are you doing? I didn't do anything to you. The anger in his face was unbelievable. He had this anger like, like he was going to kill me. Police say Young did almost kill the 42-year-old driver. In an exclusive interview from his bedside at his home in Linden today, Abu Naja explained how he was stabbed four times in the arms and in the neck, chest, and head. His 12 passengers ran out the back door, where he was finally able to escape as well. Nobody came to my rescue. I was left alone in that bus to die. Fighting back severe pain, Abu Naja agreed to be interviewed today because he wants his near-death experience to serve as an example of why he says New Jersey Transit bus drivers need plexiglass partitions. There was nothing to protect me as a human being from harm. If there was a plexiglass of some sort just to protect the, 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 these drivers who are working for their family, that's all I asked for. A New Jersey Transit spokeswoman just got back to us. She said that the agency is testing a security shield to see if it's possible to install these on all of the New Jersey Transit buses. As for Abu Naja, he says that cannot happen soon enough. And doctors are telling him now that it will likely be months before he even starts to feel normal again. That's the latest live tonight from Irvington, New Jersey. I'm Jen Maxfield, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. Jen, thank you.